Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I have been told that you are up next. So this reading is for Leo, it's for the end of January. It could resonate now, but it is really for the end of January. So whenever it resonates, it may not resonate now, check back at the end of January. It may not be for you, it may or may not be. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're gonna see whatever comes up. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of those. Actually, you know, I think I'm going to start with this one. And then we're going to use this deck right here. Leo. What does Leo need to know for the end of January? These cards are so big. They stretch my hands way out. It's a big stretch. It is a big stretch. There could be a big stretch. Something could be a big stretch, whatever that is. Distance, perhaps. I'm not sure. Stretch is a distance. Grace, this is one of your traits, right? It absolutely is. It's reminding you. It's reminding you to um, be yourself because this is who you are. Remember who you are. This is who you are. And this is where you want to be. And this came, card came out to remind you. It's like that Lion King. Which would represent you again. Remember who you are. You are a graceful human being. And perhaps somebody has taken away some of your grace. And you're going to have to find your strength to bring it back. And you may feel like that's a stretch, right? That's a stretch, but... You know what you gotta do. This is who you are. Very serene. Beautiful. This is like very, I mean, listen, the tone, you know what I mean? This is like getting back to the peace and, and serenity of who you really are. And maybe that's what you're working on, bringing back that graceful feeling. Refinding yourself. That's you. I believe it wholeheartedly. One more card for Leo. A message. What do they need to hear? My cat took up the table again today. So I did I did uh, use the little clingy thing, but whatever. Help! Woo! Yeah, you're getting yourself back. That's what's going on. This is what you're working on. This is a priority. Finding myself. Redefining. Getting back what's been lost. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And that's exactly what is going on here. The physical vessel that enshrines my soul, your body. You guys are working on your health, re re restoration. You're restoring, going through a period of restoration right now. January, end of January for Leo. First four cards, all reversed. And no, I didn't do that on purpose. There's an absence here. When all the cards come out reversed, there's an absence. And you know what there's an absence of? Grace. Self. There's an absence of self. 
you're in the process of redefining clear as mud you guys are probably you may have been in an unhealthy situation maybe a third party relationship or something where with your friends even there could be an unhealthy friendship now a third party relationship can be family and spouse can be children and parent can be so many different things somebody is in a situation where it's like I don't even know why we're friends or I don't even know why we're together there's no no joy here there's a lot of conflicts it's like it's not emotionally fulfilling and you're probably feeling like you're being robbed you're being cheated now I have to make this really clear we have the three of cups on one end and the seven of swords on the other there could be some cheating going on there definitely could be it could be still hidden or it could be um, not being revealed maybe you know about it but it's not being revealed whatever somebody is not honoring another person's boundaries put it that way I was just looking at this when I said, oh, God, somebody's like playing games. It's like you're dealing with a player here. Somebody is a player, whether I don't know who it is. Um, things are chaotic, unorganized, and you need to take that next step. And I think you're in the process of deciding if you want to take that next step. Children could be a factor here. You know, children could be one of the reasons why you're stuck or one of the reasons why, you know, you can't take that step. I don't know. There's there's some sort of memories here that are perhaps they're plaguing you. This is clinging to something that, you know, some sort of memories or clinging to a situation because of the memories or because of the children. But there's no, there's no, there's no love here. Page of Cups reverse. It's not, you know, it's emotionally unfulfilling with the Page of Cups reverse. Whoever, whatever, the, whoever this is, this person is, it's like, there's no, it's emotionally unfulfilling. Okay. You may be in a situation that you thought was stable or you, you know, thought you could make it stable. But it was never stable to begin with. It was never solid. It was never built sturdy. It wasn't built on a solid foundation. For some reason, it wasn't. It was cracked from the very beginning. And you may be trying to avoid upheaval. You may be trying to avoid pain. You may be trying to avoid a split or a breakup because of children or because of the memories or because you're afraid of chaos. You're just afraid to take that next step. <clears throat> you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, or a Libra. You have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. You have Scorpio a couple times. Um, the Scorpio here. But anyway, you have, a, you have to be practical. You got to be grounded. And you're going to have to work hard on building your own abundance by yourself, on your own. You have the skills to be abundant, to be rich. You do have the skills. You may be staying in a situation with somebody, with this person... Or this somebody is with somebody just for the stability of it. When you absolutely are capable 
of bringing balance back to your life. And you have all the skills that you need to be very successful. But you're going to have to take a step. you got to see the foot is up. He needs to take that step over the edge. Away from this, whatever it is, you know, unhappy situation where there's no fulfillment. There's no joy. There's nothing to celebrate. There's, it's like there's no more love here. But it feels like somebody is staying probably because they think it's the right thing to do. You know, I think it's the right thing to do. But I think that what's going on here is that you are trying to do the right thing. You're trying to do the right thing. You're in the process of planning something. I think that you are taking baby steps towards something more abundant. You're taking baby steps. You're, take, you're taking your time. You're making a plan. You are I think that some of you are, are wanting to leave a destructive situation but you're trying to do the right thing perhaps for the children. Trying to do the right thing perhaps. This is children here. Okay, it is. Perhaps for the children or something like that. But it looks as though you are coming, you're planning, you're planning on something. You're planning on, this is, this is the overall outcome. You're, you're, you're headed out, but you're, you're not moving very fast. It's like you're, you're planning and you're making a solid plan. Look at how big that pentacle is. It's like you know you have a big opportunity waiting for you, but you know that it's going to take some time. So I think right now you're biding your time. But you're making some sort of changes. You are in regards to your security. You're in the process of coming up with a plan in regards to security. Woo! So, wow, you're definitely dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 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 It's all over in this reading. Now, I think that there is a third party situation here. There is a third party situation in which somebody doesn't want to give up their stability. They don't want to give up their security, even though it's already slipping away. It's not, it is slipping away. This is already slipping away. It's no, lo there's no loyalty. It's like the loyalty, there's a lack of loyalty here. And I think it's unrealistic. It's not practical. Somebody, you know, and I feel like you know that. You know that. I think there's a split going to happen. There's some sort of split on the horizon. And you may be suspicious. You may be suspicious that there's been some cheating or there's been some dishonesty. And I think, you know, they're definitely, they're, there's, I mean... I hate to say this, I really do, because I I just do. Anyway, um, there's cheating on both ends. There's cheating on both ends. So both people could be cheating. <laughs> uh, that, I don't think I've ever said those words before. Okay. But if there's a lack of compatibility... You know, I'm not say excusing it. I'm not excusing it. I certainly do not excuse that kind of behavior. But there's always a reason why things happen. Empress, son of a bitch. So Taurus is big here. Taurus is huge in this reading. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus, but this could also be you. That is finding your worth. Refinding your worth. It looks to me like you guys are dealing with some sort of pain and you're going to receive a miracle for dealing with the pain. Right now you are going through some sort of rebirth, okay? You're going through some sort of renewal. 
and it looks like like I said you're redefining yourself you are redefining yourself in a way that is going to bring you some sort of blessing whatever's happening is going to bring you a blessing the empress has to deal with pain to get her blessing so you are going to get a blessing for dealing with this pain could be Taurus could be a Taurus I don't know um, could be a Libra I don't know but we have or the other person could be dealing with this person somebody is dealing with a Taurus here and um, But as far as, as you go, you guys are finding unconditional love for yourself at this time. Nurturing yourself. Doing what you need to do to release this pain. Whatever it is. There's some pain that is you are in the process of releasing right now. You could be dealing with somebody. There could be some jealousy issues. There could be some suspicions that are looming. Um, oh, Capricorn. So, I don't know. I don't know. This isn't good. And I, I don't even want to really share this reading. But I'm going to because I have to do the right thing. And I don't... It is what it is. But... You know, there's some sort of uh, destructive behavior. The devil is not good, okay? There's some sort of addictions, obsessions, lies, lust. The devil does not bring in anything good. So I feel like you guys are in a toxic situation. The devil is a toxic situation that is breaking down as we speak. Somebody is making a final decision. They are making a heavy decision in regards to something that is not healthy. This is not healthy for me. It's not healthy. It's not healthy for my health. It's, it's stealing my grace. Somebody is making a decision with a justice card. And we have karma here. This is karma. This is karma. Karma. And this is karma. And the, the tower is the universe comes in to break something down that isn't healthy. But this is reversed. Somebody has been trying to stay in an unstable situation for, I don't know what it is. Could be for the children, like I said, or because of the memories, or because it's a marriage and they don't want to face the legal issues with the justice card. There's going to be some legal issues. Yes, there is. Oh, there may be some bitterness. There may be some trouble. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. There's going to be some sort of um, harsh communication that comes through. Could be even an argument between two people. Um, there's definitely a choice between two people. And I think that... Uh, there's going to be some uh, nasty words that are said at the end of this month. There could be a fight. There could absolutely be an argument, and it has to. And this argument needs to happen so that you can blossom, so that you can grow. So, and it does. And people are like, oh, no, arguments don't need to happen. Yes, they do. Unfortunately, it's part of life. Pain, dealing with pain, accepting pain, teaches you something. It brings you something. It does. It really, really does. We have, it makes you realize what you're worth. You got to hear those words. You got to have those difficult conversations to figure out what you're worth. And that's exactly what's going on here. We have somebody here that is redefining themselves and finally realizing what I am worth. 
and it looks like as they're probably going to deliver some harsh communication whether it's you delivering it or somebody else is delivering some harsh commu harsh communication that this is not stable it's toxic it's a lie it's destructive and it's unhealthy for my health and my grace myself my soul my body is not good for me i can't do this anymore so anyway i feel like somebody is uh probably going to close themselves off emotionally to a toxic situation at the end of January. Somebody is deciding to go on their own. Take a time out, take a break, reevaluate. Re and it's a time of reevaluation. Somebody is reevaluating their future. And they may, you know, I got I got to go by myself for a little while. I need to think about this. I need to come up with plan B. Somebody is in the process of planning, like I said here. It's a time of planning your future, focusing on the future. What do I want my future to look like? Who am I going to be in the future? Is this what I want? That's what's going on at the end of January. Reflection. It's a time of reflection in regards to your grace and your health. And it looks to me like some of you are about to deal with some sort of pain that you have been avoiding. Avoiding the pain of leaving something that is toxic. I think that's over. I think it's over. I think it's about to be over. It's about to be over. Because you're in the process of making some sort of decision so that you can get what you deserve. And I think you're in a situation where you are not getting what you deserve. So I think at this point, this point or this time you are working on your health you're working on regaining yourself raising your vibration and releasing the pain that you whatever you've held on to you're going through a rebirth right now and I think that you are understanding that you gotta do it alone So Leo, at the end of January, is the new love coming in? No. No, there's no, no Ace of Cups, no Ten of Cups, no, no Two of Cups, any of that. You know why? Because right now, it's all about you. And your future. And your unconditional love for yourself. And once you deal with this pain... You're going to receive a miracle. But you got to deal with the pain first. Of something that is cheating. Something, whether it's literal, literal cheating on both ends. Or it's cheating you of happiness. You are being cheated of something that you deserve. And I think you know it. And it's a time of reflection. And self-love. That's what I have.